news. Now to review some of the headlines of today's newspaper is Arise News Analyst, Emmanuel Femi, I will still have in the studio, Dara Shobuwali. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good, Good afternoon, Aaron De Bero. Good afternoon, Cynthia. Good afternoon, Dio. Yeah, how are you? Yes, Aaron has been in the upbeat mood. <laughs> <laughs> because the team he supports, Man City, the other teams have allowed them to just coast away <laughs> in, the, in the English Premiership. <laughs> okay. okay. A good, a good weekend. Yes. A very good weekend. Let's start this review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. We go straight to the lead story. Israel, by launching 300 ballistic missiles, drones, rockets, Iran has declared war. Says... It's more options discussing with allies. G7 meets. Restate commitment to security of Israel. U.S. distances serve from counter-attack. Russia warns against further escal escalation in Middle East. Nigeria calls for restraints. Yes, dial mm -hmm. over the weekend. 300 drones, missiles projectiles all heading towards Israel. It's a very safe thing. It's mm. technology that has saved Israel now. Yes. Technology that could deflect or destroy those things. Otherwise, you know, if it had been anywhere in Africa here, yeah, they would just land right on target. Yes. And and I imagine the calamity. Yes, and there was, deli there was deliberate effort by the Western powers. Yes, Russia, to protect uh, Israel. US, mm -hmm. UK, the French sending their jets to help in tracking and destroying this business. No, there's always a joint security yes. system, you know, especially and I, digitally. And I think that in itself was a deliberate move to reduce tension because by those 300 were not hitting target, mm -hmm. well, Israel has not suffered the kind of damage it that, will that, have. That Iran wanted. Yes. Huh. And I think Iran, too, by even announcing, making, putting everybody on notice uh, so that these measures will be in place to protect it. It's also a way of making it a, a measured response to mm. the attack on the Iranian consulate in uh, uh, Damascus, Syria. Syria, yeah which, of course, was a breach of international law by every uh, known norm under rules governing nations, right? Now, it seems, you know, the problem of the U.S. and the allies of uh, Israel. Israel is to try and contain Israel so that this is a one-off situation. Yes, that that's doesn't, uh, escalate that they, that they given the Iranians opportunity to hit yes. one way or the other. So if they can contain... Israel, that would be okay. Yeah, but the president uh, of Israel and other Israeli leaders, uh, uh, Isaac uh, Herzog, mm. the president of Israel, saying that this is a declaration of war, uh, that they will respond. So, you will say counter always, from Israel. They always retaliate. You know, uh, law of Moses, an eye for an eye. That is the uh, Israel That's when They are still in that level. Yes. Okay. Of Why course. Christians have moved for? Further, they are not of, uh, turning the other. Yes, they are not. They are not. Yes, yes, they are not. I agree with you. Most of them are not Christians. Uh, they exactly. believe in mosaic laws, yes. right? For an eye. Yes. Love Moses. Now, I think in the interest of everybody, mm. that this thing should not escalate further. Oh yes. Because if there's a war between uh, Iran and Israel, of course, it will spill. You see, it's, a, other countries. it's already affecting the world. Globally. Yes. You no, see the one in the Red Sea? Yes. Uh, it will be worse. Ships have been have, have go, have doing been longer long distances. Yes. And insurance costs will rise. Uh, but if there is a. Cost will rise. Generally. Because if Israel were to retaliate or do a counter attack, of course the Iranians will not just fold their hands. But, but really, and then what, is Israel, what will be seen. Israel has always been the aggressor. Let us face it. What are they? Really? Let, no, let the West hold Israel. That is the problem. And let it be the end. Israel, of the nobody can control let them, Israel. Let them, that is just the should, problem. They should that is the problem Israel. we have in the world today. Ah, Hypocrisy in diplomacy. Israel. Of course, for instance, when this uh, attack on uh, Iranian council happened, did you hear any condemnation from the Western powers? They had all the intelligence to confirm that Israel even did if, it. Even, if even Israel did not admit it. But they never. Yes. service. 
So it's not slave service. Okay. The promise. Let's look at other stories. They are pro Israel. Now, the Vanguard newspaper, Tariff High, TCN Disco's Bika over failing 20 hour supply. So Ban A consumers protest under, su under supply, seek wow. down downgrade. Uh -huh. Total supply remains insufficient. Consumer network. Government must sensitize consumers, others. Power up Nigeria. This goes to set up response team. Reverse hike to avert further misery, suffering. Electricity, electricity workers are the yeah. one even making that. They are the ones fighting for all of us. Yes. I just discussed it. Vows to short power supply nationwide if colleagues attack. Of course. <laughs> you know yeah, how people... But they say they are the people who go out. <laughs> go out. <laughs> they want to disengage the... So you know, yes. People want to kill them. Or well, you know this issue of tariff, yeah. banding or no band A or band B. See, that, see, that they that cannot even strong. give the 20 hours. See, that, so but you have called the 20 hours of darkness. Yes. And they are saying service. That we are mm -hmm. watching. <laughs> yeah, of course. We are watching because I'm not in band A. I can't even know what band I belong to now. Mm. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's the I answer. Will, I, if, you, if you put your meter number into the your respective, if it's the Kedja. You don't know which band. It's not a cold disco. It's not, it doesn't have be able to. Aaron, Aaron, I'm not talking of whether it is A, B, or C. Uh, it's what I'm getting. That's what I'm talking about. Service delivery. That's what I'm talking about. Service delivery. Mr. Evany, I actually went to check our archives, and I remember that we did have Dr. Musli Oseni, yes. the, the, I call him the bander, <laughs> you know, who was on the morning show. And yes. I remember he did say that the electricity tariff increase would reduce grid collapses and enhance supply. Where are we today? <laughs> no, no, I think he was just expressing a wish. Let Most the, likely. Let More the, than likely. Let the grid deliver. Because and the I, grid has not, not been known for uh, breaking down yes. on a daily basis yes. instead of delivering service. Yes, let's look at other stories. Mm -hmm. Because we can spend all day on this uh, uh, disco band. tariff and <laughs> band, banding or abandoned, as it were. <laughs> now, the Guardian newspaper, sticky prices, poor control, upset consumers, despite stronger Naira. Of course, the inflation Naira. figures are out. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is something, sir. 33%. That's what you just read, right? Yes. <laughs> As people have single digit so, inflation. So the. the uh, the firming up of the Naira, mm -hmm. which I know that does not agree that uh, anything has improved. The mockery. <laughs> still it is the mockery. Yeah, okay. But clearly, okay. uh, it has not affected uh, uh, the, the down rate down of inflation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, there is another story in the front page of The Guardian we must also look at. Um, yesterday, 10 years since Chibok girls were kidnapped. In, uh, kids. Yes. 21 Chibok girls returned with... 34 kids, kids. Yeah. reports find. Well, it's a very it's sad a story disaster. because you know, the, I was saying it, you know what she performed those exactly. yes, because the the, the life of these girls with these yeah. children have yeah. been changed forever and they will need a lot of government support to help them psychologically wow. kids. to get out of uh, this and uh, that is, um, kids if, for terrorists if who I'm, kidnap them yeah. and uh, turn their lives around. Looking at that report closely. It only just covers a period mm. of these 10 years. Mm. Because mm. that report said that I think it's between 2016 and 2022 mm. that 21 had given birth to 34. So if we were to put into. If we were to, Another if of we were them to, have been retrieved. Yes. yes. So if we were over, to 90, actually, over 90 of them are still in uh, kidnapping. Yes, so if you, still with the kidnappers. So if we were to now cover everything mm. from 2014 to no, 2020. Aaron, just leave that. You want to say more, more things must have happened. Kids. Grim. Yeah. Very grim. Yeah, I think they need all the support. So bad now, if we just look at uh, the foreign newspapers quickly, uh, Dio, mm -hmm. of course, no prize for guessing the headlines in the international newspaper. The Times of London, mm -hmm. Israel vows as revenge as the world calls for calm. Biden tells Netanyahu to take the win after almost Iran, all Iran drones and missiles were shut down. That story also on the front page of Financial Times. Israel weighs options after Iran attack. Of course, it's most... But you uh, know, in this sort of situation, the, the Israelis are low rangers. They won't seek approval from anybody. Yes, they, they do what they, whatever they, they, they do. And they know, they and the Iranians, they know each other very well. Well, <laughs> we just hope um, that 
reason would the, prevail. Should not escalate. So that the this, world war. Uh, yeah. That's my own. Well, world war maybe not, but yeah, a not. war in the Middle East, escalation in the Middle East will be bad news for everybody. It affect all of us. Yeah. Not like the one in Ukraine. Another day of newspaper reviews and nothing <laughs> to smile about, Mr. Finney. No, there's something to smile about. You smiled over the weekend. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen, for the wonderful review. In spite of the nature of the stories, Mr. Emmanuel Efeni, yeah. Mr. Daeshibwali, thank you both.